Midnight Ramen is a minimally edited, live recorded podcast that takes place at midnight. Although Michael may not be consuming food, it's time to get your bowls out. It's chow time. Welcome back to you. Bridge drive sale and sale of beer. Free ball and just my enemy. Free from the things you say. You will all come back someday. And now for the comedy stylings of Barry Postel. Hey guys, what's the deal with holiday birthdays? You get born on a holiday like Christmas or New Year's or Fourth of July, and all of a sudden your parents have to change the day that you have it celebrated when you're a kid. And you don't know. What's with that? You're supposed to get cake on your birthday, but if it's like... Halloween, you, 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 all of a sudden, you're supposed to be black. <laughs> Boy, tell you the deal about black frosting. It's not good. <laughs> it shit stains everywhere. I should know from experience. It's like getting ink on yourself. So I don't know why you have it. If blue, if blue, like on a bop pop or something, can stain your tongue, black is like. Ugh. Uh, so anyways, that's, um, the comedy stylings of Barry Posthill. Uh, I don't know why he's here. I don't know who invited him. It wasn't me. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're listening to, uh, Midnight Run with me, Michael. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I hope y'all are doing good tonight. It's, uh, Yeah. If you want to watch this live, if you want to watch the recordings of this live, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash multilayer original, all one word. Uh, or you can go to YouTube if you can't catch the VODs. Same thing. Multilayer original, all one word. Can't place the M, melted the L, Lurk, and the O in original. Yeah. Also, I like I have other stuff on Twitch, too. I do. Uh, I, I, I really need to get better at uh, doing stuff. I think I might do another stream later in the day today i don't know who knows <laughs> i need i need to do more stuff but uh yeah yeah the stream tile is correct that's right i'm just i'm just like uh uh hope y'all are doing good though um i feel like i'm forgetting something i feel like i'm forgetting something i don't know what it is uh there's like a a joke in a two and a half minute where it's uh it's them sitting at a table at the kitchen table and they're drinking beers and Alan's like, I think I'm forgetting something. And then Charlie's like, well, if it's, if it's not important, then you know, you didn't forget about it. And Alan's like, yeah, you're right. Ch smash cut to uh, Jake sitting out in the rain, just soaked, holding a soccer ball. <laughs> I think that one uh, Simpsons episode where like Bart resents Homer for some reason. I can't remember exactly how the episode unfolds exa uh, exactly, but I remember like he's like, oh, off in the distance, that must be him. And then it goes into the shot of the car and it's just like a female Homer, quote unquote, singing. I am woman, hear me raw. Numbers too big to ignore, and I know much to go back to pretend. So that's enough uh, <laughs> weird references tying into one another. But let's make some more. Why don't we do other 90s? Wait, no. I was gonna say, two and a half minutes in. <laughs> uh, Let's make some weird TV references to other shows. Hmm. I wonder how many we can make. I don't know. In less than five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. But I hope, yeah, I hope y'all are doing well. 
I like as as Barry uh, <laughs> Post Hill. Uh, yeah, uh, I I had my birthday was uh, this past weekend on Memorial Day weekend and like or, no Labor Day. I'm stupid. I I am stupid. Labor Day. I'm doy 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 doy. Uh, and, and like, it's usually not a huge problem because like it's flexible because Labor Day can go from like here or there, whatever it, it jumps around quite a bit. Like some years it is on my birthday. Other years it's not, it's really depending on when Monday falls around, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, it's not too big of an issue. Like when I was a kid, we'd usually like celebrate it. Cause like I would have no time to send out invitations to my friends or whatever. So I'd like, that would happen during like, it's like the tail end of summer. So what I would typically do was do something later in September and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then we do something bigger, but it, it really depended on, uh, the t how old I was and whatever, blah, 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 blah. And kind of my preference too. Like I, I would do it when school was already in. Just because. And yeah. Uh, but I remember one year. Actually two. Two years. We did a, a overnight um, birthday. Just like a sleepover birthday party. For me and a bunch of guys. And for girls like. Yeah that makes sense. But having a bunch of. Like 10 11 year old kids. 10, 10 11 year old boy. Like boys in a basement all night long ooh that's not a good combo that is not a good combo <laughs> like i i could take you down like i could take anyone down to uh my basement and be like see that that hole came from uh 18 golf ball that one came from uh such and such I remember the exact time that this happened. It was at 6.04. It was near the end of the party. <laughs> it's like hieroglyphics and stuff. It's like, uh, just literally, we, not like major property damage, but like, in, in like the lining of the basement, you can definitely tell that we were roughhousing quite a bit. <laughs> uh, like, wrestle, we wrestled, like, there's some stuff that I would not want to say on here that we did. We did... Oh, one thing that we did do was that, like, we, we basically haunted the haunted the basement. It was crazy weird. Um, so what we did was we took... Um, well, it was like a... It was like a story that you would do. So you would, like, hold like fingers up to someone's temple, they would have their eyes closed. It'd be something about like walking in the desert, something blah, 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 blah. But at some random point, uh, the person telling the story would say cat scratch. And at that point you would sit up and your back, you're like, your back is laying on the ground. So like, there's no reason that you should be like, your back should be clean. But if your back had like scratch marks on it and you, we would do be very thorough and just like, if there looked anything vaguely enough to be a cat scratch, like, if that happened, run. <laughs> it's basically like tag at that point. It was haunted tag. And then you, whoever be tagged would be the next person up. And then, yeah, we did some major, we, I think for a time, our house was haunted for sure, because at one it must have been the second year that we did it we saw like this person outside with a lantern like squatting down kind of like near the basement window and then turns out it like my sister was would pull pranks on us sometimes like doing something similar to that and she's like yeah no i i didn't do that <laughs> like she was dead serious like yeah no i didn't do anything dead ass and uh we were scared 
Oh yeah. I know one of one of the times like I was you you have it being up all night with being rowdy and rough housing. There are definitely points where uh um where I took naps or whatever, someone would take a nap. And I don't think we did like any hazing in that sort of sense, like, you know, draw on someone's face with a permanent marker because that's kind of rude. Like we were like we were rowdy boys, but we weren't rude. I mean, like we we do like the probably the finger thing in the cup, but like drawing on someone's face, that's crossing a line. That, that, that is crossing the line. I don't think we did that. And if we did, it probably would have had someone kicked out. <laughs> Or what something I that would not happen, um, at all because I would not allow that. But it was it's it was it was a weird 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 time. <laughs> like we watch movies, we play video games. Um, I'm just trying to think like like we did like some weird like sparring like fighting stuff, not like actual hurting each other but you know with like because like i was in karate at the time so like we'd have like gear so like if you like padding so you wouldn't get, like you could get hit but you wouldn't be hurt or like you would joust <laughs> with like with padded stuff it, it was it, we you know we we'd be rowdy but we weren't like very bad um, I don't think we broke too much though, <laughs> but yeah, there, there, there was just like weird stuff that would go on at those parties that some of it, I don't remember at all. And I bet some of my friends would probably remember better than others. <laughs> like we play foosball, ping pong, air hockey. Cause we, we had a lot of stuff in the basement to do things, but it was weird. It was a fun time. Uh, mini pool. Yeah, it was fun. Darts. Not like actual sharp darts. We got like the one. We have. We. I don't know if we still have it. We had one of those boards where it's like little peg, like indents or like pegs. So like the, the darts weren't sharp at all, but they, it, it would kind of be impossible for the darts to stick unless if like you went up there and like jabbed it in there. And it, it, like, I never really understood the appeal of that. I mean, I get it that it's, like, safer, but, like, yeah, real dartboard. Blah, 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 blah. And I think we did actually have actual darts that um, were used on the wall. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, now that I'm thinking about it, that probably did happen. Um, <laughs> that probably did happen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. But, yeah. Those are freaking weird times. And especially when I got older, though. You know, as as one would would as you get older. You know, that, that, that kind of birthday party stuff really goes away. Uh, I mean, I, I still try to do things on my birthday. Like, last... Was it two years? It was mainly, mainly two years ago. Uh... I remember I don't know what I did last year but like two years ago I saw Shang-Chi I just I, I had like a a day off and I was just doing my own thing I, I had a good day I liked it like, it's like oh go hang out with a friend so I'm like nah nah <laughs> I'm gonna do my own thing and I did it was it was, it was something it was something to do Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and then uh, but I, I think the lonely time that I had on my birthday was my 20th um, like I wanted to get guys to do stuff but like I went, whenever I asked people I, I think I've already said this last episode but like I asked people I'm like oh let's do something let's go hang out let's play some games or let's hang out like i was in the dorms at the time so i'm like i'm not gonna go all the way home for a day and then drive all the way back i'm not gonna do that um especially when like you know there's classes and stuff like that whatever blah 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 
So I was like, hey, let's go. Let's hang out. Let's play some games or whatever. And I got no response. So I'm just like kind of stewing in my own room, just playing single player games and stuff like that. Just like trying to pass the time. It was, and it was kind of warm uh, because like the dorms did not have AC unless if you were in the hallway or unless if you were, if you were in an individual room, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't have AC. Like you had to have your door open to get AC in there. Heating, that's a different story, but for sure, like it was not good. <laughs> Not good at all. Uh, I kind of, I'm, I'm glad I, like, I spent two years in the dorms, and honestly, like, it, I, I had some, I met some good people there. I met some good people for sure, but, like, that was more than two years, more than enough time to be in that place. Um, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I remember... Um, a couple of times actually moving, uh, my, actually it was before we started dating. I remember my freshman year, I moved what would eventually be my girlfriend into the dorm that the dorm dormitory that I would live in my sophomore year. But like her original roommate, oh my God, like. She would show up at random times of the day slash night. Her boyfriend would show up randomly. I mean, not when, like, she wasn't there, but, like, her boyfriend would show up randomly. And there was just, like, weird drama with that. It was just, like, it was very weird. Especially being, like, my, at the time, friend. Uh, uh, and it, it, it was just, like, you gotta, she was definitely, like, yeah, I gotta get out of here. It's, I like some, I like the dormitory, whatever, blah, 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 like, whatever. But this bitch, I can't stand her. And, uh, yeah, we packed up her crap and lugged it over. I think it, there, I don't think there was snow. Cause like, this was like, must've been like November, like early, no, like early, like I think just before like Thanksgiving break or something like that, because I don't remember there being snow at all. I was like outside in a sweatshirt, like moving her stuff. I, th it was, it was a weird time. <laughs> it was a very weird time. Uh, yeah. But then, uh, I think my ninth, Teenth, my that my freshman year, that that has a good story, and I think I, I I'm I'm sure that I've already I I've said about it. I, I think I'll do that after I do like magic stuff, um. But yeah, I think twenty first, twenty first, I played D and D, uh, with some pals. I got drunk. I I didn't drink that much, but I did drink during that. Played some D and D with with some. <laughs> with uh some pals uh and i think 20, wait, 20 well 20 second was a pandemic so hmm didn't really do all that much 23 i just uh 23 was a shang chi year i do remember that that one was a fun one because like honestly that was a good movie and it was like the premiere, whatever, the Thursday night. So I'm like, I had off of work and I'm like, I'm going, dude. I don't care. I'm doing what I want to do. I think I bought some magic cards at the mall that day. I was just chilling, just hanging out with my, with bacon, just watching TV, just have, just relaxing. It was, it was a good day. It was a very good day. <laughs> I, I do kind of miss, miss that living in my, in the apartment and just like chilling. It's like kind of chilling. Uh, just, I, I remember passing out on the couch some nights and one time was really, really bad, but gosh, I just remember one night I, I, uh, 
I played some, I either played magic or I played D and D with some guys. And then afterwards I watched, uh, I think it was like the part two of, uh, he man, whatever revelations or whatever. It honestly, it was horrible. <laughs> like the writing was pretty, eh, but it, Honestly, it was a fun... I binged all of that to, like, 3 a.m. It was... Uh, the eh. It was kind of eh. But I binged it. Afterwards. And I started at, like, 11 or 12. I can't remember. But I binged all of that in one night. Just hanging out with my... With Bacon. He... he like, that cat. That, that fucking cat. I tell you what... He's, he's trying to be a, a nuisance to my family. Like, he does not wake me up to feed him. He does not wake me up. Like, he doesn't sleep by me. And it's, like, annoying. It's, like, bruh. I put him on the bed. He's got, he's got so much space that he can move around and do stuff. But then he's, like, I gotta, like, pet him to keep him on the bed. Or else he walks off. It's, like, dude. What the hell? I don't know what it is, but he just doesn't. I have like a separate blanket that he can, you know, like like uh fabric uh, knitted blanket that he likes to uh, do like clawing at, like make biscuits with, and he doesn't really do that all that much anymore. But he does like sleeping on the kitchen counter. And camping it. He does love camping the kitchen. And yeah, he likes food. Whoever feeds him is his best friend. Actually, it's just, he, he know like, he likes me the most, but uh, yeah, he doesn't turn to me when there's food. When there's food on the table, like, he'll, he'll sniff my food, maybe, if I'm eating at the, at, at the, in the kitchen. But like, he knows not to mess with it. <laughs> But when I lived in the apartment, too, whenever I had, like, chili or, like, or croissant dogs, like, those are the two main dishes that I honestly had at the apartment because they were easy for me. I could make them, like, I could make a whole batch of them and just, like, eat off of it for a while. Uh, Like, those two foods, like, it's, like I've had other stuff, but, like, I, I just have very good memories of making chili or eating chili in the in my living room and watching something like cast it on my TV from YouTube, bacon on on the table, just like kind of he might sniff it a little bit, but then he just lays down on the on the table. It's just like man, those are good days. Those are good days for sure. <laughs> well you know what? Let's get into some magic packs. Uh, we got some Throne of Eldraine packs, but well, we're going to be doing it. I got four of them right now, and I'm going to be rolling the D4 as per you, as per normal, back to the normal, because we don't have any commander weird sets, or blah, 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 so we can actually roll this normally. So... Uh, rules apply. I gotta roll a D4 and whatever com number comes up twice is how many packs I open. So one, three, three packs. All right. And it's not a rigged thing, but like, you know, that's how it rolls. That's how it literally rolls. And I smack my camera. I feel like this one's good. I feel like this one needs to go first. This one needs to go second. And then one that I just said needs to go third. So yeah. Throne of Eldraine? Especially certain boxes are really good. Um, I opened one on stream the other day. That one wasn't as great. I got some good stuff out of it. But the other box that he got... I got like three set boxes <laughs> of these. And... um. The first two that I get, one is for opening on stream on its own. I open that one easy. I get a, I got a second one 
for um for content doing like for doing episodes of midnight ramen and you know if i do a tiktok here or there op- just open a random pack but then because it was my birthday my parents got me another one <laughs> and they're like oh we can get you in something else and i'm like no that's fine like i'm gonna get good cards if like i'm gonna get fun cards out of it and hey if nothing, I can sell them and get more. <laughs> Feed the addiction. But anyways, first pack. You got a signature art card. Pretty pretty neat. I think the pack trick's going to be right here. Three, two, one, flip. We got a glass casket. The princess takes flight. Uh, dutiful griffin. I'm going to zoom out, actually. A little bit further out. Just so we can... Get some more stuff into this. Beautiful Griffin. Witch Stalker Frenzy. Two-Headed Hunter. Into the Fey Court. Uh, Sting Blade Assassin. Mocking Sprite. Ooh, Fuller Plains. Pretty cool. Uh, token. The Foil. Ooh, Water. Water Wings. Pretty sick. Behind that, Utopia Sprawl. I feel like this is the last card. Oh, it's our ginger. Alright. Pack two. Nothing really good in that one, but... Oh, okay. This is good. Good good pack crack. The art card is like a water cyclone. A water wizard. Watered wizard muddy gang. We love <laughs> pissing spells. <laughs> Yeah, right there. Three, two, one, flip. Uh, Boundary Lands Ranger. Monstrous Rage. Uh, Embrith Im- Veteran. Johan Stone Gap. Misleading Moats. Pharaoh Naughty. Hooped Up. A Forest. A Treasure. Treasure Token. And the Foil. Tough Cookie. That is a tough cookie. A 2-2 two, two for 2? 1 and a green? Pretty pretty funny. Um, behind that, we got Spreading Seas. I'm about to spread my seas if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just kidding. And we got the Huntsman Redemption. Ooh, this is a good story. This is actually a very good story because it talks about uh, Garuk and all that crap. Him getting possessed by demons. And then breaking the curse. It's pretty cool. Ooh, and then Corval. Ooh, Corval. That's pretty nice. That's really good. Uh, the spell costs one less for each card type among permanents you've sacrificed this turn. Uh, whenever whenever Corval deals damage to a player, put X plus one plus one counters on Corval. Draw X cards where X is the number of permanents among cards in your graveyard. Is this... I don't think this is the original Corval, but... It's Carvold. It's Carvold. That was a pretty good one. Pack. Trace. The one that I was like, this feels, this feels heavy. You know, open it. I don't like, I don't like having to use the tab. I despise having to use the tab. I, I hate having to do that. Yuck. Gross. But the art card... Pretty neat. Pretty neat, though. I'm thinking right about... Cha. Mm-mm. No. Get right there. Mm-mm. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Three, two, one. Let's go. Uh, Ruby, Daring Tracker, uh, Witch Stalker Frenzy, Two-Headed Hunter, Minstrosity, Plunge into Winter, Crystal Grotto, Kellen's Lightblade, A Montagna, On an Adventure, a token, The Foil, uh, Shouldered Shepherd, 
Actually, I want to see what the... Oh, because it's like a... Like an elk. Like an elk thing. That looks pretty neat. The foiling looks a little funky on this one, but like... kind of like it at the same time. And... Behind that dragon mantle. Okay. Cruel sir, sir, some summon phage. Lady of Lap. What the hell is that? What the heck? I just like heard some weird noises and Lady of Laughter. Okay, nothing, <laughs> nothing on that time when I said Lady of Laughter. Uh, for the last card. Meh. At the beginning of your end step, the two more non land permits enter the battlefield under control this turn. Draw card. Eh. Mm. Eh. I'm gonna look up that Corvold. Because, yeah, that looked, uh, that looked pretty neat. Because why not? Because I, I, I mean, it's Corvold. Oh, Gleeful Glutton. So it is a different one. Okay. Okay, so yeah, it was good. It was a good one to pull. I actually kind of want to see the other one, because I can know the other Cor Corvold. The Curse King? I think, yeah, Curse King is, is the one that people get all the time. That's less than this? No way, dude. No way. That's a foil on that one. Jesus. Oh, whenever Curse King enters the battlefield and attacks, sacrifice another permanent. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent. But... Okay, so there's more text. There's more to it. It, it costs more, but... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how you can sacrifice card type. Oh, well, actually creatures. Doi. And tokens, so it does make sense. Um, yeah, kind of. I was kind of curious. I was just kind of curious. So it's it's a bit more functional, and it's got more uses. So that's pretty cool. That was that's probably the best pull of this little trio of packs that I do. So I'm gonna take a drink real quick and uh, throw these packs. Away. And then I'm going to talk about my 19th birthday. Yeah. Yeah. So my freshman year was my 19th birthday. So I'm, I'm an older, like I was held back in a, not like intentionally held back. Cause I was stupid. Although Let's be honest. <laughs> I'm a little dumb. Just again, I might be, I might be stupid. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say any weird words in this one. No, I'm not gonna go that weird that way, because I, I don't like the use of that word. But the uh, for my 19th, so I was held back because like. The reason that it was, I grew up in Arizona, obviously. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm more than certain that I've already said that. But in Arizona, they start school like early August, and the cutoff to get into like into like school is like September first. So I was, in, I was held back solely because of that. I was held back slowly because I was born a day late. But actually my birth... So when I was born, I think I was... I, like... she was, My mom was going into labor on the 20... On August 28th, I want to say. Or 20... It was late. Whatever. And, like, my my grandpa, her dad, was, was d down visiting. And, uh... I just, I basically was like, on that day, I like, I went back up. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not ready yet. I hit the snooze button. And then my grandpa was starting to get real 
eerily mad because the day that I was born, it was like 120 degrees. His shoes were sticking to the sidewalk. And that is a certified Arizona thing. Like, they, like your shoes do melt to the pavement. <laughs> it's not a joke. It's really scary. I haven't had that happen. I never had that happen, but that is a certified Arizona moment. <laughs> certified. Uh, and he's like, God damn it. I need, I want to go back. I want to go back home where it's not a hundred some degrees. And then I, you know, I came out and that's cool. <laughs> it's all fine. Uh, but yeah, that's the story of when it was born. It was like freaking hot. <laughs> And, uh, my hospital isn't, the hospital I was born at isn't there anymore. Because it's probably, an, it's an, like an Air Force base. Or something like that. I can't remember. It's not there, though. It, it's just not. <laughs> um. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, 19th birthday. Uh, let me get back to that. So, my freshman year was my 19th birthday. I got... It was like very early on with uh, Meme Squad, so we got a bunch. We got a bunch of guys together, bunch of the gang, and we went to Texas Roadhouse because you can't go wrong with Texas Roadhouse, obviously. And we went, so we went there. Uh, we get there, and it's like there's a 45 minute wait. I'm like, okay, sure, cool, and not far from there was a was the Toys R Us. That was still there, still there at the time in Fargo. And we went there and bought, we, we all bought Nerf guns. <laughs> we all bought Nerf guns and hid them in my trunk. It, it was, it was like, open it up. You want some weapons? Uh, I remember like one of them brought like that, like the needler from uh, Halo I mean, it was still a Nerf gun, but it was, like, in the shape of the Needler. It was very cool. It was very cool. I, I, I know I got some. And we played Nerf Wars, which will be the end of the story. But we went, so we went back to Texas Roadhouse. They had, obviously, they had me go on the, the freaking horse. You know what? I got to find the image of this because I know I have this. I know I have the image, possibly the video of me on the horse. Um, on my phone. Uh, it's not that far, actually. If I can find it. Oh, yep. It's like a 38-second video of me on it. Actually, I can't really get it without, like, getting glare. But, yeah. It's like video of me on the, uh, on the horse. I don't know who all was there at the time. Uh, I can't remember who all was in the thing. I thought we took a photo of like all, everyone that was there though. It was really fun. It was very fun. And oh my God, I just, another memory photo that I just stumbled upon me getting the fucking hardest like slap on my leg. It was like, I'm turning my light off for this just so like I, I might. I'm not going to put it in, but my leg is like compared to, so my, I'm pretty white. If you haven't, if you haven't figured that thing is so red, like it's, it's redder. It was redder than this chair. The my, than the highlights of my chair, it was red. <laughs> it hurt like a motherfucker. But it was very funny. <laughs> and we're like, whoa. But yeah, that was uh that was fun. But oh, that was a fun time. But the nerf the nerf things. So we used those nerf guns and had nerf fights in like the lounges. Or you know, had like little nerf battles in the in the dorms. But and I, I, I'm certain I've already told this story. Uh, but one day one of, one of our friend, one of our other friends has, he brings in like this whole like little carton 
of ghost peppers. And so, of course, like I take one, a bunch of us take, take one. God, that sucked. That eating a ghost pepper sucks. And I, I, I think the worst part of it, other than like the amount of uh, like dairy I consume that day was like, I think the vegetable taste of it, for whatever reason, it was just not right. Like it has like this weird like veggie taste that's like even for a vegetarian even like for anyone that's had like a freaking salad in their life this doesn't taste right <laughs> like it's just it's not good it just tastes it's very strong or at least the one that i had was like very planty and just didn't yeah it was, it was just weird the 404 has graphics <laughs> <laughs> and so I consumed it, but it like ghost peppers are extremely like, duh, they're extremely hot. I had so much ice cream and thank God the ice cream machine worked because that thing did not work a whole lot when I, when I was taking my res, like when I was at university, that thing did not work or it, when it did, it was screaming all the time, like all the time. Uh, but oh man, later that day, I I was like, I was gassing it up. Like I'm not like lactose intolerant. I mean, can I drink some milk? Yeah, I think now like I can only tolerate so much milk and certain kinds depending before I start getting the gas. Not de depending on how much or whatever, blah, 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 blah. And I think it also depends on how much soda and other stuff I consume. Other, other factors. But I get, I, I was like, I, I went to the bathroom multiple times thinking I was going to take the wildest shit only to come off the, off of the lid and seeing nothing, a clean bowl, <laughs> an absolutely clean bowl. It was crazy. And we were still having our nerve fights like during this time. So like, but we, but later that night we had a grant, a great idea. Go to the top of the tallest building, the tallest dorm on campus and have a nerve fight on the lounge. And we did that. And at some point, like we were doing like zone stuff. We were moving the furniture here and there. I, I just had to go like I had to sit out because like I, my stomach just hurted and it was audibly making like n a lot of noise when I, and, like when it's on the can it was just like <laughs> just like loud but like I, so I was on there for like five minutes five minutes max in the time that I get out, I'm expecting like, you know, it's still like a war zone out there. No, everything's put back and all like everyone's like about to head out. And what happened was one of the um, campus security members and campus security teams walked in and said like, and we knew this, and we knew this particular officer and they're like, yeah, you can't do that. You can't hold, have nerf fights on campus because they're projectile weapon blah and other stuff like that and they're and we're just like shit and even they're like yeah i would totally do this too but you can't it's like damn and i get out and like what's going on <laughs> but yeah that that's that's the that's my birthday story with that one it it was pretty freaking weird it was fun though. That was a fun year. That was a fun times. Ain't it funny how all of this the Stanfield promos are live action to hide the Fallout 4 S graphics? That's what I'm saying. Okay, so fall so um Starfield just uh it did just come out. It did technically just launch yesterday. Um I really wanna be hyped about it. I really do. Like, I really, really do 
want to be hyped about Starfield because Skyrim in space. Why not? Sure, 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 sure. But a lot of the things I've been hearing, like hearing and seeing, it's like the game is like it's a it's got that Bethesda charm and little quirks. Like you're going to be like you can break the game easy. Duh. Like that's a given. Like that's a given. But like a lot of the like the char- like your character interactions are, are are just like Hello, you just killed my dad. Why did you do that? Okay. But the mission is more important. Let's get back to the mission. I'm angry. So anyway, it's like it's like weird stuff it's like kind of just like 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 a light slap of like nothing and like i really want to be excited about this game and like the stuff that they had it's just like they i feel like they really need to not use the engine that they're using anymore because like it's not working it's not working like they have definitely updated and you know gave a fresh coat of paint but like the tech that they're using for Starfield has been used for over 20 years. Like you can do amazing stuff with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally get it. You also they're also like trying to monetize mods and stuff. So that's weird. That's gross. Yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Um uh... <laughs> When Fallout 4, I think like Fallout 4, when that came out, they tried to basically monetize mods for their games, which was so fucking weird. And I don't think it ever like lasted, so I hope it didn't. Um, But I think for like console and stuff that makes sense, but for like PC, it's like people are just going to find a way around that. You know that. <laughs> so I, I just feel like. And they're they, like, people are definitely going to make fixes and stuff like that. They're going to update and whatever. But like having a low, like going into a ship or going from your ship from, from a planet off into orbit shouldn't have a load screen in the year of our Lord and Savior 2023. Why the fuck? Is there a load screen? Part of my language. I'm sorry, but like, why the absolute heck is there a load screen for a space game when you're just doing an animation to get launched into space? Like, I I don't know, man. I'm just saying. Like, I don't know. That just sounds dumb to me. Sounds very stupid. It's very nitpicky, but like, seriously, you need a you need a load screen. And of course, you know, obviously, if you go into a certain building, like certain buildings, I get it. Certain buildings, yeah, sure, why not? If it's every building, why, why, why? Or a cave, why? I haven't I haven't really seen a whole lot of whatever, but like just some of the stuff I've been hearing, it's like really in the year of our Lord and Savior 2023, we're having load screens here for a game like this? Like I totally get it if it's like I mean I get it. It's like, like graphically, yes, you can have load screens. It's not bad to have those. But when it's that frequent or when it's at a frequency that it just doesn't make any sense, you need to ask yourself why. Like, I feel like they could have gotten away with, you know, having an animation or whatever, just going from planet to space or space to planet. Like, there, there's a way to do that. Like, you just do a cutscene that's hide. You can do a load screen that's hidden by a cutscene. Wow. Wow. Todd Howard, I hope you're fucking hearing this. Put an animation there. I I haven't seen it, but if that's if it's an actual load screen, there you go, dude. Just have a model, just have it as like a base model because like 
it it you can do it in their games where like characters or even things can be different or happen that's different still in the game but it's not in the game like have different character models or whatever still do the action so a ship shouldn't be too different i'm just saying i don't know i don't know i really want to be excited for the game <laughs> and, and and it's on game pass uh, xbox game pass so that's that's easy given like I can buy, I can get it right now, but like on top of all the other games that are out right now there, and I feel bad because Baldur's Gate really took the wind out of, I feel like it took the wind out of a lot of games that came, that are coming out now solely because of how much of an, a triumph it is. Like the amount, like yeah, you got you got similar things. You got load screens, you got bugs everywhere. But like the charm and the aesthetic and the overall gameplay and feel general it's it's so freaking great. Like the story like story's good. Like you can I mean obviously there's saves coming, but like you can do whatever route you can. I mean, there's going to be and the dialogue isn't that bad either. I mean, like, the dialogue choices that you're given aren't really that far off from what you would say. I mean, there's definitely ones here and there that, like, that, like, I feel like they could have had a better outcome or better thing to say here. But even so, like, a lot of the conversations that your character or characters have with others make sense or like if you're a certain class you get a certain word or choice options like oh you're you're a cleric of this particular branch here's something that you can say that only you can say because you are this particular branch of cleric which is so cool uh it's it's neat it's very very neat very neat I love it. Uh, it. It's just, it shows a lot of love and care and it doesn't take that much to like, yeah, it may take a lot longer to do, but I feel like having less people work on a, on something like that is better. Less cooks in the kitchen. Um, but I can't really speak a whole lot for um, uh, Lariat Studios you know, how, how big their team is, but like the, just the passion that went into this, I feel like it's just so good. And they, they've done games like this before with divinity and divinity Two, whatever, whatever. Um, so they're, this isn't new for them, but it shows how much care and passion, like the amount of care and passion you can, you can see it. You can see it. Well, like, I don't feel like you can really tell that in Starfield. Like, just from the gameplay that I've seen, the heart really isn't there, in my opinion. Like, there's probably charm and stuff like that to it, but, like, man, man, I don't know. That's just me. But yeah, uh, I just want a weird tangent about Baldur's Gate. I like if I wasn't playing, if I wasn't doing anything after this, I probably would play a little bit more. I'm still caught in Act Two. Like, there's this. I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's really not even a spoiler. My, I, I, like, minor spoiler, I guess. It's not really, but it is. But like, there's this tiefling kid that like goes out into this dark cursed land and I stumble upon them and I've seen them before because Grove they were in act one a little earlier um because they're a kid just like they were about to get killed by a fucking snake and they touched an idol that gave them uh spoiler here that gave them like druid powers a little bit and so they're caught 
uh, she's competent in like being out on her own, but like not enough to face a lot of the dangers that are on like there out in the real world, in the world, especially death curses <laughs> that cause that's just what's going on. <laughs> um, but she's trying to find her parents and, um, they're dead. Like j no, like no if and spots or coconuts. They're dead, and there's no way to revive them. Like there's nothing. They are D E A dead. D E A D dead. And I'm like, oh, man, how can I tell this kid that your parents are dead, and not have them be mad at me? <laughs> I I tried save scumming it so like a couple of times. I'm like. She's just going to end up pissed. I kind of don't want to see this play out in a bad way, but I, man, she's going to be mad. I I probably should look up of what, what the outcomes are. Cause like, man, this is really sad. And she's really cool. Even though, even though she's a kid, like literally holding off against like shadow fucking creatures is pretty cool. It's pretty freaking sweet. It's like, hey, and she's like, oh, can I join your camp? I'm like, heck yeah. Heck yeah, pet this dog. Pet my dog. Have conversations with this lich dude that really has a mysterious origin and doesn't tell anything about himself. Except that he is, was, and will be. Mm -hmm. He's pretty cool, though. He's like, yeah, I like your vibe. I'm staying with you. Yeah, Bald like Baldur's Gate's so fun. I love it. I love it. But yeah, uh, you know what? I'm thinking about. Nope. No. 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 Nope. I got a little bit. I, I honestly got to get. I, I want to do more stuff. But like the the one thing that holds me back a lot of the time is time. Really, like I want to get better playing the piano and the guitar. Blah blah. blah like. I want to be able to make music. Um, I want to get this, you know, podcast on actual, on other things like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and other stuff like that. I just need it. the The hardest thing I find, it's like the um, the saying ninety percent of life is just showing up. I feel like the hardest thing to do for like anything is just to have that initiative to do it um or like a, to learn a skill the hardest thing to do is to initially do it or like like initially do it to commit that's the hardest thing um like oh say learning a language like you know you can pick up words here and there um but and not know the language like span you know, like for me spanish like i can tell you a couple words here or there i i know i've I, I took a little bit of spanish in high school but i can't tell you shit <laughs> i can't tell you shit in spanish um but yeah i feel like that's the real hardest part is trying to commit to do that sort of thing and like i know how to make music i know how to do that sort of thing so like I just need to get the push to do it. And that's how, like, I got to video editing and even streaming like that, too. Like, I had the stuff and resources to do it. And you don't need a whole lot to do. Like, you don't need a whole lot. But it's just getting just getting that push to do it. Which is very, very hard sometimes. Um, and hey, like, like, if you, like... For instance, like, if you want to do streaming, I don't, like, I'm not saying that people shouldn't be doing streaming anymore, but, like, because of, like, how Twitch and other stuff is going on, but, like, the way that, I, I'd say if you do do it, and go ahead, because why not, you know, if you feel confident in doing it, uh, like, you don't have to be, like, on every single day or every single week or whatever, but have consistency and do it that's the big thing is doing it 
uh, because that that's literally half the battle. That's the uh, showing up aspect, uh, if you will. Like that that is li like not like that. That's it. <laughs> Leave it there. Leave it there. But yeah, no, I'll, I'll end it. <laughs> If you want to, well, if you want to listen to this, uh, on, uh, watch this or listen to this later, you can go to YouTube, my YouTube channel at, uh, Melted Lyric Original on One Word, or if you want to watch these live or watch me do other live streams and stuff like that, you can go to twitch.tv forward slash Melted Lyric Original. If you're watching this on Twitch and you don't know how to find me on Twitch, what? <laughs> huh? 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 Weird. But, yeah. The, um... And eventually I'll get these on onto other streaming platforms. Again, it's something that I gotta do to push myself to do it. Like, I don't want to make goals for this year, like, for my 25th year. I'm, like, a quarter of my way through my life if I live to be 100. I'm more than a quarter of my way through my life if I you know, optimistically live to a hundred or live to be, you know, over around a hundred. That's crazy. It's crazy to think about. So a little morbid, but whatever. Uh, what was I on about? But if you want to listen to this live, do other stuff, you can, yeah, yeah, you can find me. It's not that hard. Uh, I'd like to thank Gradients for the use of their song Used to It off of the album The Call. Really fun, guys. I think uh, they're doing... A, I don't know if they did a concert earlier today slash tonight. I think they might have already done one. But, like, they're they're, they're doing shows. And, uh, yeah, they're having a fun time. I do miss the guys. And I've, I, I, that's like... That's like a bingo card thing, like, saying I miss the guys. I do miss them. Uh, but, uh... Hopefully I get to see them sometime soon. I don't know. Maybe they might have another concert down in the cities. I don't know. Just don't know. And uh, thank you for listening, watching, and doing that other stuff that you you do. Uh, but it's not midnight here anymore. Uh, but until it becomes midnight here once again. Wait, no, 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 no. That's not right. It's not midnight here any anymore. But it's midnight somewhere. But until it becomes minute here once again, I'll see you next time. But until then, bye bye.